I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start by saying I am a fan of your show, and I thought that the first half of the season was the best you guys have done yet. Even though there were some losses to some key characters, um, I just was really a fan of uh, the direction of the show and the way you guys filmed it. It was just really well done. Um, talk a little bit about the previous season uh, of making it, and maybe uh, what would surprise people to learn about the making of Fear of the Walking Dead? If there's anything to, sur to surprise people. Like the third season, the you mean? This yeah, season this three, season. or just in general, like maybe what would surprise people? You mean the first half of season four or season three? You're, you're, there's a lot going I can, on. I with can, that I question. can, I'll leap, I'll leap out with this one. How about? I think the first thing that, that they may want to know that I think it took us a moment to learn while we're shooting season four was that even stylistically what we were actually doing. That we weren't doing a lot of like big camera moves and steady cams and things like that that we were used to. That each season has its own look. And if you go back now, each one has its own unique look and feel and color. And now we were doing things that are a bit more stationary and we're letting um, it be more performance based and trusting the performers that, you know, you're going to come in and the blocking and it's really done like, you know, with great images, almost like a proscenium stage, which is really lovely to see. So it really just allows um, more breath in the show, and I think that's a, a new thing. And I think it, it, we caught up to it after a while. We we're like, oh, wait a minute. There's, yeah. you know, when I, I was like, Juan, why aren't you on that steady cam working those <laughs> singles? And, you know, he was like, oh, no, because we're just doing locked off shots. I was like, oh, why? <laughs> you know, then we saw but the beautiful book. We saw the beautiful book, yeah. and we saw that it was about the landscape and looking at well, then uh, we saw areas the of book. Uh, isolation <laughs> and, um, you know, really centering on characters. Completely. Uh, you guys launched, you, you returned August 12th. You launched your new trailer today. Uh, for fans of the show, what can you tease about what's to come? And how much is, what's the going rate on spoilers? Uh, for I mean, out we're spoilers? never allowed to say anything Expensive. ever, are we? <laughs> I think there's a lot of uh, comedy. There's a lot of drama. There's a storm. I mean, the stakes are really high. Like, I think, you know, for something to be funny, it needs to be very dramatic, very hard to overcome. So we have a lot of those like we have to overcome nature, like that's hard to do. We have to wait until the storm pass to keep going and, and the funny things happen, you know, characters will come up and they bring so much to the show and a different perspective of how to survive. Uh, and and that, that really adds to this second half. It just feels the, the second half with so much life and so much because we lost so much. So they come and they, they just put a lot of confetti in our faces all the time. And it's like, it's just like, <laughs> no, it's like somebody yes, comes and they're like, boom, boom, boom. You're like, ah, oh. it's like constant. There are a lot of interesting it's pairings. <laughs> we just got a lot of confetti we just thrown on us. Had so confetti that's thrown on our face. I'm yeah. still covered in confetti, actually. We just, we just <laughs> party, yeah. Like for real? Yeah. 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 See? Actual yeah. Confetti. Actual. Well, I, I, well no, yeah, that's what happen. they gave us over at like, another okay. studio. So where's the confetti collider? Right. I was in confetti. Right. I didn't step up. Listen, I did not know that <laughs> was an option. Mics, no cocktail. I've heard that if you were to do that with actors who are then going to be on camera in another interview, it's frowned on. I know. We really no. went there, though. We were excited about it. <laughs> they, they screwed you over good. Oh, we went full then. Yeah. Um, Great conviction. Another thing yeah. as well, there's really interesting pairings to come, like unexpected pairings and uh, that drive a lot of tension. Um, or I guess one thing particularly is that because of the loss of Madison and uh, Nick, Alicia is now the only remaining member of the Clark family. And so that allows her to finally be her own person. And, and I mean, it's a harrowing and awful dis like place to be um, for her, but it's, um, it allows her to find then her own narrative, which is very exciting. For all of you, when you get the script and it says, uh, you know, you're going to be covered in the goop and the blood. Is that, I mean, how often do you, re do you dread it or are you like, just, okay, I got it. It's part of the show. It's part of the show. <laughs> we don't even think about it now. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I thought it was going to be awesome, those parts. And then it was like the oil, my first That's episode. Right. Then it was the water park and it was freezing. And I'm reading these things and, it, and like, I wasn't thinking like to what extent the experience is actually filming when you're in water and now you've established yourself as wet. And now for the rest of the episode, you have to be wet and it's freezing. And, um, and so every episode I'm like, now I like open it. I'm like, oh God, <laughs> oh, I don't have to be wet. It's Wait, so now it's charming. hot. I hope I have to be wet. <laughs> Wait, it's freezing. Oh God, do I have to be all dirty? In my 
Oh, I got blood. Oh, God. And I'm like, oh, my God, that means, okay, so for 16 hours, wait, how many days am I working? So, so now I'm, I'm going to be covered in, okay, so that it becomes a real logistical experience. I did and a lot so of mud wrestling this, this season. Yeah. But I think one thing Lenny mentioned yesterday, like, I, I think it's so charming to watch actors new to the franchise. Like, I mean, we were just new a second ago, and, and then there's some really awesome, exciting new characters coming as well. And to watch them kind of be initiated into the, the blood and the dirt and the grime stunt and the, the stunt world. And then there's this amazing character <laughs> that's basically a, a virgin to the apocalypse. Like the writers did this beautiful, really interesting thing. And I, I just loved that character, that there was somebody that's actually been shielded from the knowledge of, of what the world has become and is really ill-prepared to survive in it. So that was an interesting turn. One of the things that's really cool is it's an ensemble cast, which means that no, you know, it's like a group effort, which means you have some downtime, but you're also, when you're working, it's like, I think a lot of people don't realize the, the hours that go in to make a show like this and how long it takes to film the action. Um, so can you talk a little bit about the camaraderie that happens? Like, are you ever going off set together and like getting food or playing rock band on set? Like, what, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? I've heard that from some casts. Broken spoke. We learned how to dance at uh, the set. What step? The two, two steps. Two stepping. That was really fun. <laughs> Frank was really quick at it. <laughs> it that was, was really cool. It, it's one of those things you work with these people and you see this cast and your crew more than you see your family most of the time. Like you were working with them 12 hours a day and then most of the time, like almost eight days, oh, seven days of a week sometimes, like six days. It's just, it's a lot. And so you. Uh, and you kind of are always surrounded by each other. So naturally you do, once you finish a day, you kind of go, well, is anyone up for a drink or does anyone want to go and like do something? It's because... watch a movie in three months. Yeah. Movie. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's just kind of built in. They just become your family, you know? I think it's also really important that uh, even outside of us, it's really important for our crew because however many hours we do, and as you say, we do get kind of downtime, we do get days off, our crew are at it five days a week yeah. and every they're there before we arrive and they're there after we've gone. So um, getting them through it um, is as, as important as getting us through it, that's the if thing not that, more important. That's the thing that I, I wanted to echo that as well. Like um, I had a chance to direct an episode this season and to get on the side of the crew and to see how in great spirits they are, they're constantly there way before everyone else. And then they've done all this prep work as well. And then they, they, it's just about great team building. And they're really such a great team. So they are truly the backbone of our show. Yeah, it's awesome. Completely. I'm almost out of time with you. I have a few fun questions I've been asking everyone that's coming through. It's for everyone, including you. <laughs> right? Just throwing that out yeah. there. Oh, by the way, can I just say, <laughs> shut up, Garrett. <laughs> right. Garrett, um, really talkative. If, uh, what TV show would you like to guest spot on? Fear the Walking Dead. <laughs> totally kidding. <laughs> This goes, for, this goes for everybody. I don't do guest spots anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> no. I'll do Stranger Things. What would you like to be on? <laughs> guest spot? I'd like to be on The Simpsons. Hey, that's a great one. Yeah, Matt, Matt Groening was just in here, that's literally before you walked in. That's not going to help me now, though. Right, really? but I'm, I know this for the next time I talk to him. Okay, next time you See? talk to him, I'd like to be on The Simpsons. Better Call Saul's pretty good. Um, <laughs> the pressure is on. It is. Uh, I think um, This Is Us would be really cool to go have a fun little journey on. I think it'd be interesting. Um, I would have loved Mad Men if Mad Men was still on. Like, I would have loved to, like, dress up, like, in those costumes, like, the whole makeup. Oh, I would love that. Yeah. Handmaid's Tale. Handmaid's Tale. Harrowing. Hard. Uh, Full on. I would do Stranger Things. I just want to. I don't know. I'm into it now. She's worked Stranger Things into almost I, every answer yes, today. Today. <laughs> I, I think my, my oh. son has like a t shirt of Stranger are, Things. Are you playing the Junket game things. today with Stranger Things? The, what's the what, the what game? Do you know the Junket game? No. The Junket game. Yeah. If you know the Junket game. The Junket game is when you basically are given a word or a term oh. before the oh. interview well, and you have to work it into you know, every interview. It's funny because. Like, like a squid in a hubcap. In a, in a hubcap. <laughs> like no, a this. Hubcap. I mean, that's really how we landed in 4B. Like, you could just get marooned like a squid in a hubcap yep. and then. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Like a squid in a hubcap. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying too. Um, uh, do you. Garrett, not, Garrett, let me, Garrett, you Garrett, you yeah. did, I went. Better call Saul. <laughs> I'll take a guess on Deadwood. 
<laughs> we are at Comic-Con, uh, and a lot of people here like collecting things, myself included. Is there anything that you collect? Children. <laughs> With the microphone, please. <laughs> Children. Collect. I, I, I'm actually trying to get rid of things. Ah. I'm the opposite right now. I feel like trapped by stuff, and I'm trying to not collect things. My anti-collector answer, sorry. No, it's, it's totally valid. I'm, I'm trying to liberate myself from accumulating things. I love books. I've been collecting books. I have a lot of books. So I guess, yeah, I read a lot. And this year, so much happened. I, I had to read a lot. I have like, I went back home with like 15 books that were really heavy. I was like, oh. I've been collecting suitcases because I'm such a nomad right now. <laughs> I'm just like, every time I travel somewhere, I'm like, oh gosh, I brought back two more. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like so it's yes yes it's very nerdy and it's going to sound so whatever but i collect stories cuz i'm a storyteller and so i'm writing down uh, i'm writing down stories all the time you know i'm al <laughs> i am <IRL>. al <laughs> we need that on a t-shirt i am I al what do i collect we're all looking at you look what do you collect nice. it's Come really on. personal <laughs> <laughs> I have a couple of Jane Austen uh, second editions that are, I mean, that would be a really expensive thing that's to collect, cool. but I, I, have, I was gifted yeah, a couple. That, that's a lot of book club. Yeah. So yeah, I collect signed first editions. I like those. Nerd. Yeah, yeah, nerds. That's, that's awesome. Good. My, good. And, uh, suitcases. My last question for so you guys shallow. Uh, before you walk out. Is there a TV show you've watched all the way through more than once? Yes. Yes. The Golden Girl. With the microphone, though, of course. Oh, <laughs> The Golden Girls. I've watched every episode, probably 10 times, 20 times, every episode of every season. MASH. MASH is good. I'll watch that. Friends. Garrett said MASH. Narcos. Oh. Um, I've watched The West Wing beginning to end four times. Really? Uh, yes. And because I did it when, for me, and then when my kids were old enough, I did it with my kids. Mm. And then they wanted to do it again, so we did it again. Is it just TV shows? Yeah, it's a, there's a separate question that's movies, but I'm going to get the hook. But that's they will really not let cool, me go, like, you know. Emotionally sharing it with someone. Yeah, second time. Phone, of course. I've watched Harry Potter, like that movie series. I mean, I, countless, maybe like once a year I do it since they all came out, like, which is, that's what I've done. <laughs> I'm like that with Face Off. Yeah, but that's, that's fantastic. You, what, what TV show? Um, I actually collected and watched I Love Lucy every single episode three times. Uh, that, it's like an actual project I did. I've seen every single. I mean, that, that's also an amazing, her work on that is amazing. Just, I have no words. Um, did everyone answer? Well, I think anyone I truly care about that hasn't seen The Wire, the greatest television show ever made, I will sit and watch it with them again. And it stands up to multiple viewings. I know, but like, that's like a citizenship requirement. Uh, listen, and I, I think we wouldn't have our show if we didn't have the, I think it affected every show that came after. I'll just throw it down. I agree with you. I really cannot wait to see uh, the, second, the second half or when it comes back in, in August. Thank you so much for coming into the studio. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.